Welcome on to SETV Africa. You are watching SETV Weekly News Edition. And of course, this is a very unique edition. And it is me, Bias Chifiji. Now, if I may ask, uh, did you know that the commodity prices have been increasing drastically of recent? Well, all that and more is coming your way in this week's edition, right after this. You know the news headlines this week? The rising commodity prices worry Ugandan legislators. Uganda Tourism Board seals deal with Uganda Electricity Generating Company Limited to market Karuma and Isimba hydropower stations as tourism products. And the ambassador James William Chinobe decorated with a first class order of the Nile Medal by the President of the Transitional Council of Sudan. Welcome back, our dear viewers. And now, this brings us straight to the full bulletin for tonight. And of course, this being a very special day, I am so delighted to have been joined by a longtime friend and colleague of mine uh, to take me to take us through uh, this uh, edition for today. Yes, gentlemen, you are most welcome. And uh, how are you today? Well, it's always a pleasure to join you on set, Comrade Pius, and thank you very much. Well, once again, thank you for joining us on SETV Weekly News. My name is Patrick Seremba, and let's get into the stories. Well, rising commodity prices worry legislators. The high costs of essential household communities are worrying Ugandans, and members of parliament are urging government to take action and stall down these prices. Take a look. As said by the Kampala Central Member of Parliament, Mr. Muhammad Insereko, the concerns of the high fuels have now shifted to increased prices of soap, detergents, sugar, among other household commodities. From the proceedings, it is said that a bar of soap has increased to 9,000 Uganda shillings, with sugar surpassing its normal market price. In the same regard, Prices of soap and other detergents have gone by 85% according to the records from the Uganda Bureau of Statistics. Tororo District Woman MP Sarah Opendi asserted that this is because some manufacturers of these products blame the government for imposing an import duty on raw materials used to produce soap and detergents at 10% where there was previously no tax on such materials. Sheila Karunji reporting for SETV Africa. Thank you so much, Sheila, for that story. And now, moving forward, Uganda Tourism Board, together with Uganda Electricity Generating Company Limited, have signed a memorandum of understanding to package and market the 600 megawatts at Karuma and 183 megawatts at Isimba Hydropower Dams as superstructures that will act as Uganda's tourism products. Now, Isimba was commissioned in March 2019, uh, while Karuma is expected to be commissioned in June 2022. Let's get more details on this story. The three years memorandum of understanding supports Uganda Tourism Board's efforts to diversify Uganda's tourism products beyond the dominant wildlife-based tourism. It also supports Uganda Electricity Generating Company Limited's drive to utilize its assets in diversifying its business portfolio and enhance sustainability as a growing concern. As much as there is a growing need for nature-based tourism, hydro plants as tourist destinations have become a growing trend around the world, and hydro plant owners and operators are now working to accommodate the general public's desire. Paeschi Fiji, reporting for SE Business News. 
Well, in other stories, on 15th March 2022, Uganda's outgoing ambassador to Sudan, His Excellency James William Chinove, met and had discussions in Khartoum with His Excellency General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, President of the Transitional Council of the Republic of Sudan. Details in this report. In recognition of his efforts in promoting strong bilateral relations between Uganda and Sudan, Ambassador Chinove was decorated with the first class order of the Nile Medal by President Abdel Fattah. The decoration ceremony took place at Sudan's presidential palace in Khartoum. Ambassador Chinove expressed his gratitude as this recognition and praised the efforts by President Abdel Fattah and Yori Kagutam Seven in ensuring that the cordial relations between two countries continue growing from strength to strength. Patrick Saremba, reporting for SETV News. Many thanks for still being here with us on SETV Africa. And of course, as usual, SETV Africa is here to bring you opportunities and all that is happening into the entrepreneurship ecosystem. And today, we will be speaking masterclasses that are organized by AIMS Generalizing Uganda. And Patrick is here to take us through, you know, tell us more about these masterclasses and what they have to offer. Well, thank you, Pais. Uh, it's always a pleasure to share such opportunities with entrepreneurs out there in the ecosystem. Okay. Uh, the Masterclass, like you mentioned, is a program organized by Einstein Rising, and Einstein Rising is an ecosystem social business builder, and we do support social entrepreneurs to move their businesses to the next level through training, through mentorship, investment readiness, and things of the like. Okay. But um, in the training aspect, that's where Masterclass comes in. Masterclass is a program that bridges the gap between technical know of how to do things in a business and yeah, between that and, and uh, business founders. So often at times you find startups do not have a lot of capital to hire human resource to help them about going this very going about these very complex things of managing business entities. Okay. So with the masterclass we bring the experts that have the industry experience and have the technical know-how to do things and they get to speak to these different founders of these businesses and in that way we are giving them technical support and we are as well saving them the hassle of looking for an extra pin to spend on an extra employee or perhaps outsource consultancy and expertise and that way they have all the information they need to make some technical um, decisions. Well, uh, there you have it. Now, Patrick, uh, you mentioned very good and uh, awesome uh, statements uh, that uh, uh, Ancient Rising is really doing a lot uh, when it comes to the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Uh, tell us more about uh, the upcoming events that you're preparing and uh, who, who are you targeting? You know, who are the people that can attend this um, uh, masterclass and can benefit from? Well, everyone, first of all, can attend the masterclass because it's an open invite, okay. but it is more imperative that business founders, business owners, employees, mm -hmm. and youth that want to come into entrepreneurship get to attend the masterclass so that okay. they can get this information pretty much earlier before they get to experience the challenges. But this time around, in this month's masterclass, it's one of a kind because we are trying to celebrate women. We all know that this month we celebrated the International Women's Day where the theme was Gender Equality Today for Sustainable Tomorrow. So we are also tagging along that particular theme and we are having a conversation on how um, entrepreneurship and, and gender equality are shaping up for the female gender. So the conversation is basically going to look at it from different aspects but the end goal is to assess how are we breaking boundaries so that the female gender can get into the entrepreneurship space mm -hmm. and get to enjoy the same opportunities and get to enjoy the same support that, that perhaps men are getting. So in, in this masterclass, we'll basically look at it from a perspective of an entrepreneur, what are they going through and things like yeah. that. We'll also have a legal perspective to it because we know we can't shape these spaces without policy and, and the law and mm. conceptual framework, things like that. The unenabling environment for that matter. 
we are also looking at it from the perspective of uh, enterprises in, in terms of incubators that are trying to make sure that entrepreneurs get this different support from the different partners to see that their businesses can go to the next level. So it's, it's, it's a very technical conversation and we think that different entrepreneurs out there and, and anyone that cares about women and how they are progressing in their different spaces doing business is someone that should come and attend this masterclass. There are lots of takeaways. Okay, uh, we very well know that um, um, Africa and specifically Uganda is full of uh, creative and innovative entrepreneurs that are uh, growing up and starting very new businesses. I think it will be a very uh, great opportunity for them. Uh, but uh, maybe you need to uh, inform us about um, what, pl pl uh, what platforms uh, do, you, uh, do you use to communicate to these people? Uh, do they have to attend physically or is it via online? Um, how, how does it go? Well, everyone can attend the masterclass mm -hmm. in the convenience of their home and any space where they can be because it's an online session. So you just need to go to our social media platforms that is at Einstein Rising and you can most definitely be able to find all the information there for this masterclass and a link where you can register and you will most definitely have a spot to come and attend and be part of the discussion come that day, 31st of March. Okay, so uh, you have to mark your calendars. Of course, the day remains 31st of March 2022. That is uh, roughly um, a week from now. Yeah, a week or less. Very few days from uh, now. Yeah, very few days. So you need to mark your calendars, uh, entrepreneurs, and also, you know, whoever is in, uh, into business, uh, this could be a very great opportunity for you. And now, uh, moving forward, uh, we have uh, a very uh, various programs that are running under Einstein Rising. And of course, uh, one of them is the Social Enterprise for Africa Business Accelerator Program. Uh, it is known as uh, SE for Africa. And of course, as I speak, uh, a call for applications is uh, running. And of course, they are continuing to remind you that uh, you can apply and uh, get to grow your business from one level to another. And uh, there are several courses or several modules that uh, you can you'll be uh, trained in uh, right away from investor re investment readiness, uh, the financial management, and all other um, uh, courses and trainings that you'll be uh, getting once you are part of the program. And of course. Uh, for whoever that is interested, uh, you can apply via the website that is at uh, www.einsteinrising.org slash applications. And uh, of course the team will be really gladly waiting to uh, let you know or give you any form of assistance that you will need. Well Patrick Sereba, glad to be on SETV once again. Thank you for following us across all our social media platforms that is at SETV Africa from the entire news crew it's a good night